I don't know if you're a baker. I found out the other night that I am clearly not. True story. I tried brownies like the little kids can pull off and they came out hard as a rock. But when you look at this stuff, you see if you know what you're doing, the wonderful stuff you can come up with. And clearly the people who own this place definitely know what they're doing. This in a store window. How could it not catch your eye? When passersby come to take a closer look, they're floored by everything else as well. Check out what's cooking at Cake Maker's Studio. So. Oh, they're definitely not running the mill. It's, it's very striking. You walk in, even from across the street, and I was like, wow. <laughs> it takes more than just flour, a few eggs, and a bucket of fondant to pull this off. It takes creativity, and Luis Arias has tons of it because of his background. He was a special effects guy for creepy movies such as the indie film and even with my comatose mother. For me, it was just a, like doing the same thing but in a different media. Well, we start, well, I start uh, with clay and silicone and all those materials. Now we're using chocolate instead. Although Arias can whip up just about anything, he loves projects that let him play in the fantasy worlds that he knows so well. I like all the Star Wars. That's the beginning of everything for me. It's Star Wars, then I like horror movies, science fiction, comic books, all of that, and nerdy geek stuff that is very popular now. His creative juices also spill over to more traditional fare, like cupcakes Pardon? and good old-fashioned ice cream treats. So what are you eating there? It's blue. It's Superman ice cream. Is it good? Uh-huh. How good? It tastes like chocolate. Blue chocolate ice cream? To me, that's scarier than anything else here. So if you're wondering how much a cake from this place would cost, I was talking to Luis and he tells me a simple cake might cost as little as $35, but if you're gonna do something extravagant like this, it could cost you thousands. So Cynthia, yeah. for your next birthday, the 30th or so, we're all gonna throw in a couple of bucks and see if we can buy you one of these. Aw, oh, that's really sweet, Ken. So many fans you really have <laughs> Thank there. you so much. Yeah. And you know what well, I hold want. Hold me to it, though. You know what I want, oh, a horse cake, right? What's that? A horse, a horse cake. Yeah, well, we had a unicorn earlier. Close, all right. I'll just take off the unicorn horn for you. Close enough. 